Hello and welcome to the second part of the Pico TV production exploring the Smart Switch range of products. This time we are looking at the DCC operation of the Smart Switch system. Before we start, this is an optional extra and if you are not using a DCC system, you do not need to use this component. Let's get started. So to activate the servos using your DCC controller, connect the PLS135 stationary decoder to your control board using five lengths of wire between the terminals as shown here in the diagram. It's important to note that the PLS135 is the only decoder capable of working with the smart switch system. When using DCC to control the smart switch, Fitting the toggle switches is not essential, however, with them in place, the command of the servos can be changed between the DCC controller and manual controls. In order to use the toggle switches instead of DCC, you can fit another toggle switch into the user terminal, then the system can be switched between DCC operation and the toggle switch mode. For the system to be activated by your DCC controller, control device mode needs to be set to toggle switch operation, regardless of whether the switches are actually fitted. Following which, the system needs to be set into default save mode, as it does for normal operation. Therefore, this should be shown on the LED display. The addresses of the four servos will be automatically grouped together. So all you need to do is program in the address that you would like the four servos to be. And servos 1, 2, 3 automatically take the same sequential addresses below it. For example, if you program the system to address 28, servo 4 will be programmed to this number. Servo 3 will be on 27, servo 2 will be 26, and servo 1 will be 25. Therefore, to avoid ending up with two servos on the same address number, only use numbers that are multiples of four for the addresses of servo four. The range of numbers available for the address is any multiple between four and 2048. In the next part of this film, we are going to install the PLS135 onto a Roco Z21. Other DCC command stations may vary so you may need to consult your controller manual for further information. We turn on the control station and the smart switch along with the stationary decoder. Then we enter the accessory address mode on the DCC controller and key in the number you would like for the address of the four servos. Press the only button on the PLS135 stationary decoder for one second. The green light on the board will start to flash. Press the button on your DCC controller to activate the accessory and throw the turnout. The green light will stop flashing. The other three addresses will automatically be located and the numbers will be saved automatically. The smart switch is then ready for use under DCC control. If you're using a traditional style controller, the process is the same. Press the button on the stationary decoder for one second and the green light on the board will start to flash. On the command station, select the turnout function and enter the number you would like to correspond with the turnout. Then press the turnout operation button to move the turnout. See the instructions for your DCC controller on how to call up and activate turnouts and accessories if you're not already aware of this. And there we have it. It's as simple as that. We hope you found this film interesting and we look forward to seeing you again on another Pico TV program in the future. To learn more about DCC, Pico Publications have produced the Show You How guides, which are available from your local model shop. Thank you.